Hello, my name is Walter and I'm going to be talking about some of the photographs I took in Vancouver. It was my first time going to Vancouver last year. And uh, the idea of this video is basically I'm just going to be talking a little bit about how I captured some of these images, uh, talking about the f-stop, um, shutter speed, ISO, and some of the lenses. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get right into it. Um, so this was the view from the Victorian Hotel. It was the oldest continuously running hotel in uh, Vancouver. And uh, this is my viewpoint. And for, for this image, you could see in the background that it was overcast. So uh, I did not bring a tripod with me. So um, next best thing, I, I, sh I bumped up the ISO to 800. Uh, in order to have a stable uh, shutter speed of one one hundredth of a second. Okay, and then walking from Victorian Hotel downtown to Gastown, um, this was uh, same thing, you know, <laughs> uh, daylight wasn't the best for me that day, so I kept the ISO there at 800, and I definitely wanted the detail of uh, pretty much everything in the shot, so I kept the aperture at the 7.1. And uh, for this one, um, now I, <laughs> uh, uh, instead of being close to Gastown or in Gastown, now what you're seeing is an image from uh, up in northern Vancouver, uh, specifically Lynn Valley. Uh, that's where the suspension bridge is. And what I quickly came to learn is that <laughs> you don't go here just for the suspension bridge. As such as this example, this beautiful uh, water waterfall I was uh, uh, above. And I, I, was, I shot this with an EF 50mm uh, lens. Um, you might know it with the very uh, large aperture of 1.8. Uh, but as you can see here, yeah, that's the beauty of it, <laughs> the f-stop 1.8. So I was able to get a lot of light in, uh, ditto, uh, so comfortably shooting with the ISO being 100. And uh, yeah, that's the power of the nifty 50. And then uh, switching lenses because uh, I just needed to get a wider shot. So going back to the basic kit lens for a Canon uh, DSLR, which would be the EFS 18 to 55 mm. And then uh, beautiful. I can't believe I was above this waterfall. <laughs> um, and then uh, as you can see here, uh, boosting up the ISO all the way to 1600 uh, just for this image here. Okay, and then another uh, wide shot of the beautiful Lynn Valley uh, waterfall area. Um, so you're seeing that uh, this would be uh, same thing um, uh, with the ISO. Uh, I'm going to continue on here. Now, uh, <laughs> shooting up to the sky definitely uh, worked in my favor here. Uh, I just love the contrast between the black and the white. Um, you got that kind of mysterious lost in the woods kind of feeling here. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, this, this felt pretty easy, you know, in terms of uh, getting the light uh, exposure within the camera at this point. And uh, this is a majestic uh, staircase that uh, I walked down in order to get to this part of the park, uh, Lynn Valley Park. Um, and I know, <laughs> I know it's part of this uh, greater mass system of uh, trails, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to make sure to not be a part of that 
trail system because it's like you could easily get lost and my cell phone was dying and I, I thought I would totally be completely confused and lost if I navigated away from that so I tried to stay put in close proximity to where the suspension bridge is in Lynn Valley Park uh, in case any <laughs> Vancouverites are listening as to where exactly I was so uh, waterfalls suspension bridge I pretty much tried my best to stay in that area And uh, it, it, like uh, seeing that I shot this at 3200, I, <laughs> um, I I try not to. You know, I think sometimes you know you have the idea of when you're taking photographs that uh, you want to avoid grain as much as possible. And uh, of course, I feel like you would definitely see the impacts of that image if you really blowing it up. Um, but for but for what it is. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes you just have to do it, and I still feel pretty great about what the end result was. <laughs> now, what you're seeing here is one of the many beautiful um, steps that uh, they they built throughout this park, and it, it definitely was one of the uh, uh, biggest workouts of my <laughs> of my life. Um, uh, so just imagine seeing these wooden pathways throughout this, uh, this, this, um, you know, I guess trails within Lynn Valley itself. Uh, um, it, it was, it was a lot of fun to navigate these wooden steps going up, you know, uh, up these steps, uh, uh, especially because going to uh like going into like the woods for me was really important throughout the pandemic so and i feel like i've kind of uh <laughs> uh I went to uh like i feel like i've seen everything you know like where i'm living in so just the ability to experience this for me uh kind of felt like i was at this expert level of <laughs> navigating the woods <laughs> Um, and, uh, it, it totally fulfilled my soul. I, I was so, uh, beyond, uh, excited just to, just to be here and experience, uh, <laughs> walking up these steps. So, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised with the ISO there, 1600. And I guess I didn't, I didn't see the need to have, uh, you know, much detail for, you know everything just kind of like uh just just ideally just the steps itself so that's why you see the 3.5 for aperture uh another angle of the uh wooden <laughs> staircase a different path and uh one of the natural beauties of what it looks like inside there September 5th, Lynn Valley, uh, this water sound. Okay, so at this point, uh, I have successfully experienced the Lynn Valley Park, um, and I, I'm beyond exhausted. So basically, this is the view from the Lynn Valley Public Library uh, branch, and I'm up on the second or third floor, and I'm just completely exhausted. I'm just charging my phone. And <laughs> oddly enough, um, <laughs> being up there, I had one of the best views of Northern Vancouver. So I was just, uh, for, there was a moment where I was just up there in the library, just taking pictures. <laughs> and this is one of them. Um, yeah, I love it. And, uh, they even gave me a card. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and what you're seeing here is, uh, it's basically outside of the, 
North Vancouver Lynn Valley branch. And I really like from a planning perspective, I really love what they did here just cause it's kind of like an open plaza and, uh, uh, you have groceries and amenities and all this stuff in, uh, surrounding the library itself. And it's also on a major kind of, um, transportation route so you have like a lot of buses and whatnot that it's uh, close uh, right on the two streets where uh, the two streets intersect very on the corner here so uh, planning wise I thought it was really smart just to see all this yep and uh, I was really confident in shooting this that <laughs> Yeah, that's the first time I shot uh, with a shutter that, you know, of that of that level one three twentieth of a second. Uh, I must have did it just to get the capture of the people walking. So uh, I, I love uh, I love seeing old movie theaters. I'm a big uh, new movie nerd. Uh, I uh, uh, they're definitely a dying breed. Uh, Godspeed with all these uh, theaters, movie theaters trying to make it throughout this pandemic. Um, so I just, uh, I was really, I mean, I saw this, I was like, okay, no brainer, take a photo. And, uh, yeah, pretty easy shot there. <laughs> Nothing to say more. I, I met up with my uh, old friend, uh, from Windsor, Kyle. So, uh, uh shout out to you if you're watching this. Um, yeah, so simple day night exposure here. Um, probably the ISO is higher. Let's see what we got. Yeah, <laughs> ISO 3200. Ooh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but you know, I, th I think it's worth it. You know, uh, don't be afraid of the grain sometimes. Okay, what do we got? Uh, so this is, uh, the following day and uh, I rented a bike uh, from uh, it's uh, one of the main uh, bike rental places uh, right in the heart of downtown um, I think cycle Vancouver something like that or Vancouver bikes something like that so uh, if this is this is for all the Stanley Park lovers I became one uh, I was uh, I was so pfft, I, I <laughs> it, it was it was incredible it was incredible biking Stanley Park it was incredible so I believe this is the Lionsgate Bridge uh, I don't have any notes in front of me so I, I just I believe this is uh, that bridge that I viewed from Stanley Park and um, let's see here one nine ISO 109 f-stop nine yeah Okay, so the, so the sun the the sun was on my side <laughs> that day as well. Yeah, especially to have a f stop f stop of nine. Yeah. Okay, and this is a clear example of me using my EFS fifty five to two hundred and fifty mm lens just to get a shot like that. Wow. Right, and I made in my notes that <laughs> I made in my notes that I looking at the lens I extended it all the way to 250 okay got it yeah um okay yeah so that's the details right there and uh <laughs> I'm finishing off the series of these photos with the wide uh zoomed out perspective uh so we started with medium second uh very close and now zoomed out and uh, i was one of the many happy cyclists that day pretty pretty easy shot i guess you could say uh and uh i i also i also get excited just to see different forms of uh transportation uh, so just to see this uh, taxi bus uh, or uh, aqua bus or whatever that that was really fun um, Geeked out for sure for that for looking at that 
Um, and that's that's private. It's not part of the uh, Vancouver um, Metro if you bought, you know, like a pass for the Metro. And I learned that that day. Um, so yeah, two hundred of a second. Um, nothing to say in terms of photography details, shooting details. <laughs> Uh, this is one of those iconic uh, uh, art uh, installations close to the uh, Granville Island. Um, it was just cool to see it <laughs> out there. Um, yeah, beautiful sunny day that day, so no need to bump up the the, green, the ISO. And uh, here's a here's a shot, a wide shot from Gr the Granville Island, Granville Market. Beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Really confident <laughs> in the sunshine, so I'm shooting at one two, uh, two fiftieth of a second. Um, but at the same time, I did that specifically, so you know, just to capture uh, people in motion. And I got this cool postcard from <laughs> Granville Island. Um, okay, so at this point, uh, I left Granville Island itself, and I'm biking on the Burrard Bridge back to uh, the downtown part of Vancouver. Um, and so I'm shooting this from the bridge, so you could probably guess which lens I'm using, the 250mm. And, uh, ooh, I didn't extend it all the way to 250. 149, that's, that's where I extended it to. Um, yeah. Okay, and one four hundredth of a second. Once again, just to capture the people in motion and just have that crisp detail to have it at uh, the 9 for the aperture, f-stop 9. Uh, beautiful wide shot, uh, and you can see Granville Island to the right of you. We're going to keep going, and this is a shot from the Burrard Bridge itself. So, um, yeah, I, you know, for, for the for the days where it's really sunny, uh, I feel like uh, it's, you know, <laughs> it's not much to say about, like, yeah, you know, it, it makes no sense to bump up the ISO, so just keep it 100. And then, uh, like, I, I usually like to, to keep my photos... Uh, uh, crisp in detail um, and then have that uh, fast shutter speed um, so a lot of these uh, photos at least shooting in the daytime will have a lot of similar stats like what you're looking at right now um, this one I was just having a lot of issue just with the shadow because <laughs> uh, what 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 uh, brought me to take this photograph initially was just to kind of juxtapose this beautiful old historic house next to the massive office uh, commercial space, uh, possibly residential space, uh, a condominium, office tower, whatever, just to the left, and even you can see on the right. And then uh, the beauty of city life, <laughs> you have the cyclist and the, and, and the dog and, and the couple. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is this is an example where it's like I really wanted the photo to work out and just with the shadow, I think the shadow kind of ruined it for me, but um, I still wanted to include it, you know, just to kind of give you an idea of what I was trying to do here. Um, so that's a better example of uh, the difference with the house and the huge uh, tower <laughs> that, that literally shadows over it. But to be fair, it's probably not coming from that one, just right to the left of it. Okay, um, so at this point, I'm shooting uh, right by Olympic Village. And uh, in order to get this uh, focused shot, I just put my uh, Canon, uh, uh, I put the camera right on the ground and I'm just, uh, just shooting like that. Uh, I think I'm probably sitting on the ground at this point too. So uh, yeah, not that surprising, the ISO uh, 3200. And I think 
at some point I do make the decision, you know, to uh, think, well, if I could get a stable shot from the ground, I'm going to switch the ISO. And you'll see that uh, just in a moment, but definitely to get that uh, f-stop at 7.1. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, oh man. Uh, I just, uh, it's kind of incredible, right? Like the, the light from the, from the city reflected in the water. Yeah, there we go. ISO 100. Yeah. So uh, what you're looking at here is that this is a 10 second exposure. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Basically, what I'm trying to communicate here is, you know, like the reason why I'm doing the different kind of exposures. It gives me the idea of what the painters do when they're uh, trying to capture um, an image um, like... Um, like Monet or something with the impressionists because they're there it's like the same shot right it's the same image but every one is different like now to be fair you know uh, they might have a series of like 40 and the Sun is setting so you know in that sense it's different but I definitely get inspiration from that kind of uh, approach because like shooting with the different kind of uh, maybe I'm gonna try five seconds maybe I'm gonna try seven seconds stuff like that you know I kind of think of it in that way it's like oh okay it's gonna be a different shot so you know it's this it's the same things that you're looking at but the exposure is definitely it's different uh, as you can see now I change it to four uh, the uh, four second exposure uh, bumped up the ISO to 400 so there you know it's it's uh, you're adjusting it same thing you know the same idea it's, it's the same setting but it's a different image you're just tweaking it you know now it's a two second exposure okay and uh, now uh, <laughs> this is the iconic sphere um, and uh, this is a very um, <laughs> I mean like I was so new to the city right that I, I had the nerve that I I actually thought I could walk to the sphere from Gastown <laughs> and I had a I had a funny walk on the very first night I was there I was walking and walking and at some point it got so insanely hard to get to that sphere and then of course my first thought is like I should have took a bus man you know, because <laughs> taking the bus from Gastown was so easy to get there but for whatever reason I thought the first day I was like yeah I could walk there now you can't or at least maybe you can but you know i i, I ended up getting lost um but yeah i was uh this was this was fun to kind of just figure out how to exactly shoot something like this um and i took a number of attempts but i was satisfied with this one so five second exposure okay now what you're looking at is a film photograph um and I uh, got a disposable film camera <laughs> and um, this is the bike I rented and this is uh, one of the trails um, or yeah one of the roads in S a Stanley Park and uh, the sec um, th there was the first day I rode Stanley Park but then there was a second day I, I came back to Stanley Park but instead of doing the seawall, I biked uh, all the way up to the elevated point and then biked down. So this was uh, the elevated point process where I'm going up. <laughs> and uh, this photo, this photo was funny because I kept trying to put my bike, you know, on display, and all these other uh, bike cyclists were coming up. So I, I, fe I felt like I was always in their way. And even just looking at this photo, I'm like, <laughs> was it, was it worth it, man? And I, you know, I kind of think, yeah, maybe, you know, like, uh, it makes me smile looking at it. So yeah, it was, it was worth it. Um, okay. Now, uh, back to a digital image. I'm up at the elevated point in uh, Stanley park to take more shots of the Lionsgate bridge. And, uh, so yeah, sunny day, so uh, <laughs> not too elaborate uh, in terms of setting up the photograph. 
Okay, and uh, switching the lens to the 250 mm lens there, uh, going all the way to 250. Um, yeah, and then just having fun <laughs> at a range of 250. Get the details like that. Um, yep. Uh, here's a film photograph of a, of a self-portrait. Um, I like to call it the <laughs> anonymous portrait. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, and then, uh, what you're looking at here is a shot at Jericho Beach, and they have a kayak center, and I took a kayak, uh, class, um, uh, with this lovely family, and, um, it was at Jericho Beach, which is really close, close to Kitsilano, another film image. And at this point, I am in the kayak, <laughs> obviously, uh, film photograph, another film photograph, uh, just off of Jericho Beach, another one right on the sea here. Uh, I can honestly say I was living my best life kayaking here <laughs> and uh, seeing the sunset. Uh, according to indigenous and Ch uh, Chinese folklore, uh, this, this appears to be a man laying down. Uh, the mountains and uh, this was one of those images where okay just imagine this right uh, so I kayaked my my butt off <laughs> it was like I don't know two hours or whatever and um, I got my shoes completely soaked so I got sand uh, on my socks and stuff like that in my shoes uh, so completely drenched right yeah, but I saw this view <laughs> I saw this view and uh, it, it was like, you know, it was a no brainer, you know, like, yeah, sure. My feet were soaked and my shoes and you know, it was gross or whatever. But I, I was like, I have to stop. And like, I'm exhausted too. Cause that day I biked a lot at Stanley park and then I <laughs> kayaked. Right. But it was, um, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, you could relate listening to this if if like you feel like your energy is depleted but you're like instantly you, you have this rush you have this urgency this feeling where you really have to do something it doesn't matter if you're really tired or whatnot so this this was that moment for me where i looked at this and i was like it doesn't matter i have to i have to set up my camera i have to take this image and i tried my best to stabilize the camera on a bunch of like rocks on the ground but i think i did a good job um, yeah, sun setting uh, at Jericho Beach, Vancouver, uh, pretty much my, my last day in uh, Vancouver. Ah, okay, yeah, it makes sense with the 250 millimeter, millimeter lens, but um, I lived with the lens being uh, zoomed all the way. I, I, I don't know, you say zoom in, right? <laughs> at 231. I'm impressed with it being at the ISO 100. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And then Gas Town. Right. Right. Um, because at this point, yeah, this lovely lady, she dropped me off. Um, we shared an Uber. And then, so I was walking from that location downtown where i was dropped off towards gas town and uh i i took this photo on a um there was something like there was something i was able to put my camera on so in order to take this like steady shot of gas town and as you could see here um having the camera on that uh I don't know, pull or something, I was able to successfully take a shot that was 1.6 seconds.
and there we go that's my video it's all my photographs my digital my film some videos some ephemera <laughs> thank you so much for watching um stay safe this train is for ydr airport The next station is Sea Island Center.